Well, it's still winter. Or at least I can still tweet. Uh, come on, phone, work! Uh, what a piece of dirt. Are you having fun, Cassie? Well, of course she is. And that's the main goal in the baby's life. Yep. And that's to have fun. Yeah, until she grows up to be a young, independent woman. Mm-hmm. Yep, just like Abigail. Oh, Willie, you're such a way with words. I can't argue with that. But it is going to take her a while to grow up long time from now. What have we got to lose? You mean besides our sanity? <laughs> You're funny. I couldn't agree more. I don't know about those two, but I think there's something going on between them. Uh, maybe. Hey, um, has anyone seen my phone? Are you talking about the one that keeps breaking on you? No, no, I'm not even in a relationship. Uh? No, 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 not breaking up, breaking on you. Oh! Bruh. Yeah, that phone. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. <laughs> what was that snapping noise? Oh, Cassie, you broke her phone. Ah, uh, it's okay. It was already broken anyway. Yeah, with all the glitches. Yeah, but I don't blame her. She is a baby. True, true. I think we should talk to Bronzebeard about this. Good thinking. Yeah. Sure, he might help us. Actually, I like that idea. Yeah, maybe he's got some ideas. On what? You'll see. Hmm. Oh, it's okay, little girl. I forgive you. Well, Captain, what do you think? I think it's a pretty nice phone. Me too. Hey, Bronzebeard, can we... Uh, what's that in Daisy's hand? Why, it's a new phone for Tweety. Oh, I was going to talk to you about Tweety's old phone. How'd you know she needed a new one? Well, bronzebeard has been hearing her complain every time about her old phone glitching out. Right. Yep, and Cassie broke Tweety's old phone. Oh. How in the seven seas did a baby break a phone? I don't know. Well, let's just say when Tweety first came to us, her phone was made of cardboard and paper because we didn't have shrinky dinks back in the day. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> no, we're not crazy. Oh, come on, you know how much we tend to break the fourth wall. <laughs> Let's give Tweety her present. Good idea. Woohoo! Onward! I love this new phone, Uncle. Thank you. Anytime, dear niece. <laughs> Aw, family moment. Sure, it looks like it. Totally. Yeah, I'm just glad that they're happy. Of course, we're going to have to talk to Cassie about what's not to break. Yeah, like promises, vases, and phones. Yep, and bones. Bones? Yeah, remember that time I fell off the tree and broke my leg? Oh, yeah, I remember now. So do I. And I wasn't there to take care of you? 
Daisy's right. You are. Yeah, even though you weren't really there for me. Oh, well, that's a relief. Oh, and where's Cassie? Oh, Cassie's taking her nap right now. Ah. Okay, that's good. Yeah, she'll take a nap and then she'll wake up and she'll want to play. Or eat. Well, let's hope we got plenty of formula for that. So, Willie, did you buy Cassie that crib yet? Oh, fiddlesticks! I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, Willie. Oh, dear. My brother forgot. Either that or the crib we're looking for on Amazon is unavailable. Yeah. The Admeister is a part of a Chapsplitter production.